Hey guys, what is up? It is PJ here again, and this is the 12th video of the Java 2D platformer series. So, just to recap on the last video, what we did was we fixed the map issues we had and added air blocks. So, in this video, we are going to add um stuff. We're going to add images for blocks. So to do this, let's create a new class. And we're actually going to put this into a new Patrick pack package. So name this whatever you want and then resources. And that should go into the package area. So for the name of this, we can just call this images. And what we're going to do is create the constructor. So basically what we're going to do is when when we load up our game, we're going to call this images class and since we won't have too many images, it'll load them all in the beginning and it won't really be a big deal. So let's do this. We're going to create a new uh array of buffered images. And we'll call this blocks. Buffered image blocks. Um, so this is going to store all the block images. Right now we're only going to have one. That's going to be a brick block. So we'll just do blocks equals new buffered image and one. So how we're going to do this is um, blocks. 0 equals this dot this dot get class dot get resource as stream and our path. So, man, I forgot how to load images already. It's been a while. Let me go look at this really quick. Image IO, duh. <laughs> image io dot read get class dot get resource as stream so we're gonna need to add a try catch around all of this um, and right here is basically just gonna be our path so we're actually gonna wrong project okay so in our res folder, we're actually going to create two new folders just to be a little bit more organized. So other folder, this one will be maps. So we'll put that map one in there. Okay, fine, don't don't go in there. There we go. And the next one we're going to create is blocks. So actually before we do anything let's go back to our level 1 state and we'll do slash maps slash map 1 so that way we don't get an error with the whole maps changing of the path. So I'm just gonna drag in this block brick block image and I'll show you guys what it looks like pretty simple. Um, I'll give you guys a download for that um, in the description of the video. So in this images class we're just going to put this path as slash blocks slash block whoops, block underscore brick dot png. Okay so now that we've done this we can set up our system for images. So in each block, hmm, how are we going to do this? Okay, so based on the ID, we're going to draw something. So right here, we'll just do, let's we'll just take out this draw, this fill rect, and we'll do g dot draw image. Whoa, that's a lot. Let me check this out really quick. Okay. So actually, we're just going to change this to draw image. 
and we just have to add null at the end of this and an actual image. So let's go back to our images class. We're going to make this actually a public static blocks. Now we could create a new instance of the image for every single block, but we're just going to access it because it's a lot more efficient, I guess. Um, so in this player class, where am I? No, block. Let's go to block. We're going to do images dot blocks i are id minus one so now the reason we're doing this is because um we could do an id value of negative one for an air block but then it kind of messes with the whole structure of this you have to space it out differently to to be able to read what you're actually creating so we're just going to subtract one so we can use the indice values and not have to make new ones for every single different block. So if we run this, no, we can't run this yet. We have to go into this level, no, not level one state. We have to go into the game, no, what am I doing? We have to go into the game panel class. Now, in here, before we call start, we're just going to create new images. This is going to create a new instance of the images class, which will instantiate everything. So, that should do it. Let's try this out. Run. Yay! We have bricks. I bet you guys are happy about that. It's a lot better than having, you know, just some simple, crappy black boxes. I know it's more satisfying to have bricks. So that's pretty simple. We're going to be adding more images later and we'll actually be having player images so that we can um, have the player like an animated movement sort of thing for the player. But that's pretty much it for this video. I'm trying to keep these kind of short just to get you guys a little snippet of what we're doing and only added a few lines of code so I can explain it all. But I'm hope what I'm thinking I'm gonna do in the next video is probably let's I, we're gonna add moving blocks like I have in the actual semi finished version of this game. So thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, I'm happy to answer your questions. Thank you.